Welcome to Glass Cannon Studios. My goodness. Look at all these beautiful faces. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm using... What's up, everybody? It's all your old buddy, Joe. Good to see you. Let's switch to your old buddy, Troy, here. Sorry it took an hour and a half for that to work, but uh, we were having some, some technical dif- difficulties, as usual. But uh, this is the attic. And uh, I'm very dark here. We're going to give you a, a quick little tour, and then we got to jump right into Ruins of Aslan. But first of all, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, do it right now. I'll wait. Did you do it? All right, good. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to probably be a pretty quick tour because there's not a lot to see. But um, we'll start uh, at the beginning. This is our... Uh, let me uh, switch the settings here. This is our door. As you can see, it's very exciting when people come to deliver food or just to visit and say hi, they call on this phone and we let them in. We've got a little refrigerator and a, and a microwave like we're, uh, like we're in a college dorm, very fancy. And we recycle, which, uh, which is fun if you're into that. Uh, and this will eventually be full of snacks up here. Uh, let me get this camera working right. And uh, now it's just a great big mess. So I'm sorry I showed it to you. Uh, Oh, and of course, if you uh, follow us on Instagram or uh, Twitter, we have a, uh, a brand new welcome mat that is right here. Isn't that nice? Oh, <laughs> thank you, Skid. <laughs> Can't have a proper studio without a, uh, a proper welcome mat. Um, so, yeah, this is what the space looks like. This is typical New York real estate. You can fit about us in here and maybe a small chihuahua. That is it. <laughs> Maximum. There is actually a court here. His name is Einstein. Yeah, His Einstein the Corgi. Einstein. And you know what? You know what's funny that I realized he's actually a Pembroke Corgi. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. A divine providence. Yeah. We should steal him as an animal companion. I know he should be the mascot of the. Still going to name your animal companion about to get bigger. This is this is our shelving unit over here. It's 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 a work in progress. We're we're going to be building some shelves soon. Right now it's just a. Uh, just a big old mess, but we're going to put some shelves in and get a nice library going. But as you can see, we have uh, a nice uh, smattering of Pathfinder uh, periodicals and books, lots of ponds and some Starfinder action in there as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just a giant mess right now, and I'm embarrassed to even be showing you. Um, and then we have, uh, pardon my uh, use of the camera here, we have some T-shirts. Speaking of which, did you buy your Glass Cannon t-shirt yet? You could have a We're Having Fun t-shirt. Maybe one of the OG shirts with the Glass Cannon logo. It comes in four different colors. You can't go wrong. Oh, and how about a, an official Glass Cannon 2.0 hat? You can't walk around in the spring without one of those. Um, all right, we got some po- photos. <laughs> you look like a jerk walking around without one of those hats. You'd be a damn fool to walk outside without them. We have, uh, we have a goblin doll here, a nice picture of uh, the line art for Baron. Um, and Skid, explain this uh, Lord of the Rings Ralph Bas- Baskey photo. Yeah, here. so this is, uh, that's one of my very favorite movies, is the 1978 version of Lord of the Rings, uh, directed by Ralph Bakshi. And this is a production cell from my favorite scene in the movie that is signed by Ralph Bakshi. And, and what is, happens in this scene? This is the confrontation between Saruman and Gandalf, which I can act out in its entirety, but uh, <laughs> we'll save that for another stream. Yeah, another, yeah. So we have that, and then we have I don't know garbage. We'll have to throw that out. I don't know what that is. Uh, over here we have some more uh, some more art. If you uh, follow us on Patreon at the Escape Artist here, then you've probably already seen this. Otherwise, you've seen too much. <laughs> Uh, over here we have some pawns for Giant Slayer and Starfinder. I think I'm going to show it to you just from about this distance so you won't know what's going on with our Starfinder pawns yet. But look at all this beautiful um, soundproofing we have. Yeah. These... Is that what you're calling me now? Yes, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, say hi to everybody. There are, there are hi, hundreds everybody. of people here, and they want to look at the top of your head because I don't know how to use this gimbal. <laughs> um, a dangerous proposition. I'm getting older. Things are changing. Maybe a little closer to his face would be better. How's that? Is that good? <laughs> Matthew, are you, do you like uh, being in a new studio? You look very professional. You got your laptop, you got your mic. I like that I can see everybody at the table as opposed to being in a random corner of your apartment. Right. <laughs> do you regret that we seated you next to Grant? No, I've been sitting next to Grant this whole time. Oh, okay. It's been lovely. Just, Just want to make sure. Parker, you're the only one with a problem, Troy. <laughs> it's not, the only one with a problem. It's not so much the smell, it's, it's the danger of those flying dice. To be fair, he's right. He's 
right hand, it's usually the dice slide out less. Oh, good. <laughs> so, into the sound equipment. Right, right into the expensive sound equipment. Perfect. <laughs> this is our table. This table costs, what do you say, $100,000, Joe, for this these uh, two yeah. plastic tables yeah. from Staples? All, all of your generous contributions have gone up these two, two tables. This is Skid's very tiny laptop. Uh... <laughs> Skid likes to run his games via laptop, and we are going to be recording Ruins of Oslant episode one in mere moments after we end this hacky, hacky YouTube live. This but let's is, check uh, it. This is my 2001 uh, edition computer because it's as big as the monolith from 2001, <laughs> and it's as slow as a computer from 2001. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get you something nice if we get a few more donations. Uh, Grant, how are you doing? How are you enjoying the new space? You've done a lot of the uh, electrical work here to set this up for us. Are you, are you happy with your handiwork? I'm happy with my handiwork. I'm happy with the growth of the studio being able to co accommodate a new member, Eleanor DiLorenzo, with our sixth Yay. mic. Ah. That's pretty exciting. So we've got everyone on the same equipment uh, sounding good lately. I think you sound a lot better, Troy. I, I always like to start off these things by complimenting you. So Thank you. It's you smart. great on the new podcast. You always want to stay in my good graces. That's the way to make it through the edit. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Jojo, how, how are you doing today? Good, buddy. How are you? It looks really good when you're backlit. So <laughs> know, right? I'm going to come and swing around here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Here. Look at this beautiful view of New York City. More importantly than that Joe. Is way better than my face. Look at this, huh? Da, 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 da. Start spreading the news. Look at this place! You'd think we were actual professionals. Just um, get closer to the phone and scream louder, I think. The <laughs> no, they can, they can hear me. Is this better? Am I lit better now? Is this my good side? You do look good like this. Uh, you look very wistful. <laughs> now, Joe, how do you feel about the fact that you used to live 10 minutes walking distance and now you have to drive an hour to get here? Oh, tell man. us about that, Joe. It's not awesome. I'll tell you, a car, though, is a great place to try character accents that are terrible. Oh, good. Because you can't just do it walking around on the street. You know, you can't do it while we're recording. So cars work. They're a good place for that. This is your Oslan character, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was walking around the house all day practicing mine the last, <laughs> the last week. And then I'll get on the mic and still do rag blood tusk. Uh, so this is the setup here. Um, you can see we got the map between all of us. I normally sit here. Um, and, you know, it gives me a much better overview of the actual map because when we weren't on Roll20, I'd have to get up and walk around and be on that wireless mic. But now I'm right on top of it, and it just makes everything sound a lot better. Hopefully you guys are realizing it. Um, here are these very, very dangerous steps that lead up to the loft, and that's why we call it the attic. Uh, I'm going to try and go up there for a second, um, and I'm positive that we're going to lose reception. But let's let's go check it out. Even though that's where the Wi-Fi is. Yes, even though that <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. Um, this is this is the champagne room, as it were. Uh, it's, it's nice and clean. We're really uh, uh, we're really living the dream here. These are actually Patreon T-shirts that are going out soon. Um, underneath the, the couch here, we have a nice sound bar, so Skid plays pump-up music for us before each recording. We've got this beautiful brand-new iMac, and then uh, Joe brought in today this uh, monitor that we can use for, uh, hey, look at this monster, hey, look at this, blah, 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 or just to play PlayStation, Xbox, and once we get a better internet connection in here, we can do more live streaming from this place. But uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much the space. Let me... Uh, Show, show you the, the bird's eye view, yes. Show them the lighting, Troy. The lighting. <laughs> yeah, we're up in the champagne room, motherfucker! <laughs> this is gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, there were probably a few questions on here that I didn't take, but um, let me just go back to... Let me just go... Oh, Skid's playing some club music now. Let me sit down here. Uh, so that is... Hold on. This thing sucks. This gimbal... Is a real gamble. Anyways, that's that's the space. We're uh, we're pretty excited about it. Um, train, 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 train. Oh, there's a train coming. Wait, no, nah, it's too late. They'll never see it. We uh, we wish it, it looked a little nicer in here to be able to give you guys a better uh, kind of. Uh, it would look a little fancier once we get more moved in. So we'll do another tour in maybe six months when we actually have shelves and we've cleaned up a little bit before we go live. But in the meantime, we got to play some Ruins of Aslan once again. If you haven't. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do it right now! We need to get up to 10,000 subscribers. We've got a long way to go. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy your Saturday, and we'll see you soon with Ruins of Ocelot! Dance party, guys! <laughs>